Hello and welcome along to Mondo Chalavec Movies. My name is John and in this video I'm going to take you through some of my shelves and show you some of the slipcase covers additions from the, uh, my collection. The reason why I'm doing this is because uh, recently I've been seeing a lot of people who have been unboxing or opening Vinegar Syndrome titles and their slip covers I've got to admit are the best slip covers I've ever seen you know bar, bar none. I would love to get my hands on some I haven't got any at the minute and it made me think well what are my favourite slip covers that I've got in my in my collection at this moment? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run through it. I'm going to give you a little bit of a background into why I like slip covers, and also I'm going to show you. I'm not going to take too long. I can't do them all, obviously. I'm just going to go and pick. This is the first ones that I picked on the sh picked off the shelf. I'm going to go through them. Hopefully, you'll see ones that you're going to like. I'm going to actually. What I did was I went on the eBay. And I've searched for all of these titles and I'm going to give you a rough price on what to expect because everybody knows that when slip covers go out of print the price goes right up and when you think about it it's only a bit of cardboard but as as you can see from some of these titles here it does make a bit of a difference and um, you can get reversible cover art on the, the blu-ray behind the air uh, slip cover so it, it does make sense and I would urge anybody to if you fancy getting a slip, a slip cover version of a film, just get it straight away. You've got it and you don't have to be at the mercy of the scalpers. And we've all been there, haven't we? And in the in the 80s, you had the invention of the video libraries. And we all used to go into the video libraries and we used to stare at this, the, the uh, covers of the, especially the horror movies on the shelves. And some of them just had the most grotesque and amazing covers. I mean, sometimes the film inside was rubbish. But it made you want to get this. Now, during the nineties, when they had well, they had the video uh, nasty craze in the eighty four, and in the nineties, a lot of the covers was you couldn't get a good cover on anything. It was just a very plain, bland cover on anything that you wanted that was a little bit extreme. You would just never see it. Now these days, you can see some quite extreme covers, and these are a good throwback with for me, thinking that. Back in the day you would not see anything like this on the shelf and if you did it would be one of the ones that got banned a lot of the films did get banned just simply because of the cover or even the name of the film this is one of my favorite covers of all time on a movie uh, poster that i used to see all the time in, in my uh, hometown and i love this cover I can't get enough of this cover i would love it as a massive poster somewhere in the house it would be great to have it but these are the things you used to see you didn't used to see just floating faces of just three people who were in the, uh, the main store with the name of the title and it's looking at a gun or looking off in the distance. There was none of that. Somebody used to put a lot of thought into these um, these pictures for the covers of these movies. And it used to, sometimes you'll get this movie, I did like this movie, although the, the picture, the cover, made it look a little bit better than it is, although I do I do like Rhoda Bull. Um, so also as well, there's the like these films here is what i'm talking about the fact that this this picture was inevitably got the film banned and it isn't what i would say it isn't really a gory film this scene is obviously gory but uh they chose the biggest the, the worst picture they could they put on the cover of a, 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 a vhs and the next thing you know it was banned but these are the things that used to drive us all crazy when we were kids. We used to go looking in this and say, look at that one over there. Didn't have a clue what it was about. Probably didn't even have the chance to, to actually rent it because we were too young. But we did we used to get around that. Sometimes you just go to some certain shops which used to give you anything you wanted. So it was always a way and means. Obviously that all stopped. So that's going to lead me on to a kind of, that's a brief uh, journey and my love of covers anyway. These are going to be what you call O cards or slip cases. Sometimes they've got they've got different titles for what they are. Now O cards, I couldn't understand what an O card O card was. I thought it was something that you had in the actual package, like a, um, you only get R cards. I thought that's what they were uh, describing there. But an O card is the fact that when you have a cover, it comes off. It's just O shaped. I'll, I'll show you what I mean. Um, you know what I mean? You've got that. It's just an O. I don't it's a bit of a stretch by imagination to say that but uh, yeah so they're called O cards or slip cases or slip covers and that's what I really do I never used to be massively into collecting them ones I did used to like a good cover of course but the fact is when I used to when I first started watching YouTube I did not see that people were really intent on getting the slip cover version of it so that made me think yeah that's a good idea and so now I do, especially with my 4Ks, I want them all with slipcovers if possible. And I will search them out on eBay 
to get the slipcover one and not the one without the slipcover. I find I've always been duped when I don't get a slipcover, especially on a 4K for some reason. So anyway, you've got other things here, which is a J card, which you can see on there. It's, it's the shape of a J, if that makes any sense. So you can call that a J card. So we're not going to talk about J cards. A lot of people don't have any love for J cards, me included. I think they're a monumental waste of time. But they are what they are. They get put in this and I, I don't understand them. Some J cards are really good, but uh, sometimes you can get a J box, which is like the, the Dawn of the Dead. It slots into a box, which is like a sort of J card. So, but anyway, today I'm just going to talk about slip covers. There's a thing called a slip box. Now this one here is a... Arrow don't do many slip boxes, if any, but they've done one here with their uh, Russ Myers Beyond the Valley of the Dolls. I do really like this cover. It's quite hard to get, and well, if you were searching on eBay, the price that I found on, you're going to pay around about £25 for this version because it's got an extra film on, which isn't on the, uh, the normal release. So, but, so that's something that you, can, you can bear in mind that some of these versions they've got a slip cover but they've also got other things in the package of the the disc itself but this one here i just love that cover it just uh it's a it's one of the most 60s films you can ever get is beyond the valley of the dolls and it's uh full of 60s hippie talk it's just a brilliant film i love it i love most of uh, russ meyer's films they're just uh, quite insane and i do think that arrow they did release all of his stuff on, on DVD, they had big box sets, they used to release them in the, on the Arrow, the regular uh, DVDs uh, in a white box. They need to get back on that if they can and get some more of his stuff to put out in the, uh, in the Blu-ray or even 4K, believe it or not, that would be amazing. Now this one here from 88 Films is the slipcover for Blood Sucking Freaks. Now this is funny because it's it does sort of put this film in a what you would call a plain cover which makes you think there's more to this film than well this film is pretty extreme don't get us wrong it's it's it really is what it says on the tin but i think you'll find that the cover inside which is pretty pretty explicit i can understand why they've uh, why i have covered it up uh, you wouldn't really see this in the shops but this if you wanted to get this version with this this slip cover on which is kind of really like a, what you would more or less think of, like a bland slip cover, one that doesn't really excite anybody, but it does have that sort of element of, um, oh, what's in this package? It must be really, uh, if they're going to put a, like a blank cover of it, it must be pretty, you know, there must be something really um, explicit or brutal or exploitational in this film. And if you want to buy this from eBay at the moment, you're probably looking around about the twenty pounds sometimes or under. It depends. Sometimes it goes for a lot more than that. But you're looking around about the twenty pound mark to pick up this with the slip cover. It's a I personally think it's a great film. It's not for it, not to everyone's taste. It's ultra low budget and pretty um well misogynistic doesn't even doesn't even touch that. So okay, getting through into these these ones tomorrow and I pick them off the shelf. I'm gonna go through them and tell you what I think about the, the slip covers and also what the price would be if you wanted to pay for it on eBay if you decided to to pick this one up some of these ones like this one here blood rage now this is a um is a three disc director approved limited edition and i don't think when you buy the standard version you get all the discs in here so that's that's to be noted that sometimes these these uh, slipcase versions do hold uh, other things to the the film that you don't get in a regular version so say if you pick this one up now just looking like that you might not get some of the some of the um the the things that are uh, put into this box set you wouldn't you might not get them in this uh, this release yes two blu-rays and one dvd and that that's obviously spot glossing on there just takes takes your eyes and it gets back to the fact of it just being a really um extreme cover you've got a severed hand holding a coke tin which does tell you a lot about the film and i love spot glossing it brings it um it's as well sometimes when you get a spot gloss it does tend to go a little bit rubbery which i think is even even better touch um, embossing as well that's something that i really look i really uh, like uh, that they put things like that in it i just like the attention to detail on some of these releases so 
you're talking about £25 for this particular release, release and I think it's because you get this extra stuff with it that you don't get in the regular release. You probably only get one Blu-ray in the regular re release. The next one is, it's a great cover, but I'm sorry to say that I didn't find the, the movie quite that good. I'm keeping it because I haven't watched the other cut of it. The other cut might be better than the one I watched. I watched the longer cut, which I didn't enjoy at all. And this, the shorter cut is going to maybe going to be make the film better. Strangely enough, because I usually always like to to watch the the more fuller version, thinking this is going to be um, the the best one. But in this case, it, it probably isn't. This is limited edition two disc Blu-ray, and you get the theatrical cut and the international cut. Now this is a lovely cover. It has got that sort of um, rubbery texture to the to the words, the wording in there. And this gets me back to the, the whole Vinegar Syndrome thing that I, that I like. Some of their covers are just that good that maybe the film inside is pretty trash. But you might be even collecting it just for slip covers, which is a bit strange to somebody who's not into them. But if you're in that, if you're into that sort, this has got another, the reversible art in here is really good as well. It's a shame that this film didn't live up to what I thought it was going to be. I did think it was going to be... A lot more is going to offer a lot more because I thought if they'd put that much work into this uh, this cover, it's got to be some kind of um, you know breakthrough movie which I'd never heard of. And it just didn't work for me that much. I will give it another uh, go. I do like this cover. If you want to buy it online, you're looking around about twenty five pounds because it is like I say, it's a slip cover, but it also has the extra sort of disc in maybe, and the, the regular release won't have. So bear that in mind as well. I said that a few times, haven't I? The next one is a Region 1 uh, Blu-ray by Arrow. These, and funny enough, Arrow aren't really renowned for slipcovers, or they never used to be. I think they're coming more into the slipcover arena. You see them more often than you don't see them, but there was a long time when they didn't have any form of slipcovers on, and you were quite, if you wanted to get them all, there wasn't that many there. But I think there are, there are a lot more of them now. I haven't pulled out all of the slipcovers, but these are the ones that just uh, really worked for me. This is the region one of basket case. Now this one here has got lovely spot glossing on there. I'll try and get all this on the light if I can. The actual cover itself, which I don't know if you can see, this whole basket bit in here, this has got quite a sort of um, a golden look to it and it's very shiny. And the, the spot glossing, spot gloss is a lot more shinier than the other shiny bit. I don't know if this shiny bit shows up, but this is just a really, really nice case. Very simplistic but very um, very well done. You've got your reversible art there. And if you wanted to buy this on a Blu-ray, bear in mind it is a Region A Blu-ray. So if you wanted to buy this online, it'll cost you round about the £30 mark. It's one of the more expensive ones. I don't know if it's just because of the, 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 um, the case here. And I did go through and put a search in for eBay on what ones have been sold in maybe the last two or three months. And this one come up with an average of about £30. I tried to get ones that were not buy it now, but ones that had been bid on, bid up to a certain point. And this one, one of them had been bid up at £30. You might, I say all these about these covers, you might be lucky and find one the same cover for a lot less. I've seen some that maybe you might, one might slip through the radar and it might sell for only £10 or even less. You just don't know. But um, expect to pay around about the £30 mark. And it is. Um, and it's got a bit spot glossing on the back. I've just noticed there, actually, uh, which is lovely. I, I just like all this spot, spot glossing on the spine as well. I just love these covers that whoever's done them has just took that little bit of time out just to add something a little different to it. I mean, you pay you pay money for your, your release anyway. I think the least they could do is always try to put a slip cover on the start of the releases of these movies anyway. And as a side note, if you wanted to get it in the UK, which I did <coughs> originally, excuse me. This is the Second Sight Basket Case Trilogy. It's sort of pretty bare bones. Um, I did have the steel book of this, but I sold the steel book on because I don't really like steel books, if I'm honest. So um, I just went for the, the regular release on here. It's a good release. Um, I don't know. It's not as good as the Arrow one. So that's why I've kept the Arrow one. I did get that one off my good friend, Hogos 73, uh, American. Uh, basket case now this one here when i first saw it and if you wanted to buy this this will cost you round about it's only about 15 pounds it's not even though is it a special edition 
Well, it is a special edition, but it doesn't say a limited special edition. And when I first saw this, I thought it was a bit kind of muted and a bit not really, it didn't really pop out. It was, but on reflection and, and looking at it a bit more, I do find it's, um, it's really quite, quite good how they've done it. It is Don't Torture, <coughs> excuse me, Don't Torture a Duckling by uh, Lucio Fulci, one of his early films, it's a giallo. And it hasn't got much spot glossing at all. It's quite subdued and muted to a certain extent. But it's the kind of the subject matter that the film's about is quite um, extreme. The fact that it deals with uh, child killing, unfortunately. And um, the fact it's got this sort of um, picture on there with a cross and this duckling and this chi child crying tears. It's quite, um, quite a strong image. So I do like it for the image that it has on there. Even though... It's not one that you would look at the shelves and pay too much attention to. I did find, I thought it was a bit, um, bit of a, a, a poor one when I first saw it. But now on reflection, I think, wow, that's uh, that's pretty, pretty strong image there. So if you want to buy that one, I don't know if I mentioned this. Uh, probably going to uh, say this. Oh no, it's fifteen pounds. That's right. The next one, which is a lovely slipcover, very shiny. And I did think that this one would go for probably silly money because it's one of them ones where the film's, it's all right, it's not great, but I do like the film. And it's not a special edition. It is a special edition, but it's not a limited special edition. And if you wanted to get this, you can probably pick this up £15 or under. You can probably get it for less than a tenner quite easily. And it is The Giver. And it's a sort of, if you can just think about it, it's a bit more like... Um, what's the thing you know like uh mighty morphin power rangers on acid a bit um but i don't know if it shows up there the whole when you, you see these sort of lightning strikes that kind of flash in certain lights they just take on this bit of as if there is elect uh, electricity going through the the the, the slip case if that's even the thing but some of the some of the uh the things when you look at it, especially his eyes that that comes across there sort of shine in certain lights it's a lovely color that cover cover should i say and it's it's a decent film it's a decent laugh it's not it's not the best of films but um the slip cover on here where i really was drawn to slip cover in fact i probably might not have picked this up uh, as a film but i saw the slip cover and it's one of the things where sometimes a slip cover can uh, can sell you a movie that you might not otherwise go for that's another one of them them things is that spot glossing not really. Okay, so that's the Giver. If you look, you can get that well, well under a tenner. Now this one here, I did, at first when I saw it, I thought they could have chose a better part of the film to put on the slip cover. But on reflection, it's not bad. It's got, it's got some nice sort of details in it, some nice shiny details in it. And it is Contamination. I believe that's, it's 1980, and it's um, 1981. And it was directed by uh, Lugio Cosi or Cosi who directed Star Crash and Hercules I love this film mine I've got to admit it's one of my favourite films from that, that very early video days that uh, we used to go on the video shop and we used to uh, get this one out all the time it's not that gory but I do think it's it's like it's just an alien rip off basically uh, but I think it's really well done in an ultra cheap um, Italian way and if you catch the light in certain parts of this especially as I in this bit here this explosion you can see it sort of come to life i love these slip covers that are very shiny and if you're lucky on a good day you can get this for around about um 15 pounds or under i always thought that this one used to go for quite a bit but maybe people are um, not collecting it that much now but it's still available all these ones are still available on, on ebay you can't probably if you look you might spot one in the shop but usually these ones are sort of long gone uh, so that always says if you want one just buy it straight away you can always sell it if you don't like the film but if you do like it you've got yourself a nice little collectible thing that you can look at and and get some enjoyment out of this next one here this is another one that goes for about 15 pounds or under now the reason why i like this one is it's not i wouldn't say it's it is it is a good slip cover but it's the fact of it looks really a lot like vinegar syndrome title and it is the mutilator now this is a good slasher and especially the murder that comes by this way of this sort of fish gaff which is unreal um, and you get uh, a direct, it's a director approved special edition and this one here the mutilator you can find another one for 15 pounds and under which is great 
Uh, it's good to think that you can get these ones without it breaking the bank. It's got a strange cover but on the the flip to say it's called it's all his other title is called Final Break. I do like the fact that you've got two really completely different artworks here. So you can take advantage of that with your slip cover, you can put that on and you can have both of them at a glance rather than taking them out or open taking all the boxes out. Um that there that I don't know if that's that's spot gloss in there. It might be spot spot gloss there. Or it's just looks a bit luminous. So that's uh, that's the mutilator, and it's quite a good it's quite a good slasher if I'm honest. Uh, but I do think that this one's the closest I've found by uh, Arrow that comes to a, a slipcover that you would find on a release by Vinegar Syndrome. So this next one is what they call a soft touch slipcase. Now when I first got one of these and I felt it, I thought, wow, this feels like it's damp. It feels wet. It feels cold. It feels damp. It feels leathery. It's a, it was a hard one to sort of describe. And a lot of people do when they get it. They'll go, wow, this has got like this odd feeling to it. It feels a bit like like a material and not cardboard. And it's called, apparently it's called a soft touch um, or, cord, or card or slipcase. Now this one here is, uh, it does have, it's got that feeling and it's, it's hard to sort of explain it. If you've got one of these, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. This one has got this kind of lovely, it doesn't really do its justice on here, but it kind of, if you get a certain light, it just lights up and it's a beautiful slipcase. Good film. I've always liked this film. And uh, this one as well, it just jumped off the shelf at me. I thought, I think I saw it online. I thought I've got to get me this uh, slipcase and I got one straight away. Um, if you wanted to buy it now, you're probably, you're probably looking at under £10. Strangely enough, because you think this would be one that would sell out quite quickly, especially with this soft touch, you think that they would not do that many for some reason. But lovely, lovely uh, special edition. And I think, yes, those, uh, those the blue uh, words there are spot lost as well, which is lovely. And, and the end, this, the side as well, has got that nice bit of, uh, yeah, spot glossing, if I can get it in the sun or the light. So yeah, but I get, you see I get a lot out of this, if I look at that, you can get a lot of enjoyment just out of a bit of cardboard, but it's a bit more than that, it's a bit, you do want it for your collectible uh, in your thing and it looks good on the shelf, I think they're very uniform when they're on the shelf, they've got that nice, really, you know, and it, the, but if I had all the slip covers together, well I do put all my slip covers together from a certain range, like the arrow ones always go together, and um, they just look great together, I think. So this next one is a really, it's a it's a brilliant um, cover. This it's just so busy, but I think it needs to be. Killer clowns from outer space. This is around about 1988, I think this was out, and um, this is the redone version, which is remastered in 4K, and it's a it's got just the cover is just amazing. It just looks like a big top. I was very fortunate enough to. Uh, see the band who recorded the theme tune to this the dickies the killer clowns from outer space song uh, i was very um i was it was great to see the dickies live and they played this live as well and i spoke to the dickies quite a few times me and my wife have seen them about five times we love the dickies um the great great bunch of guys as well you can always have a crack on with them uh they don't take anything seriously as you can tell by this but this is just a lovely slipcase, and if you want to buy this one, it's round about uh, it sells for around about fifteen pounds again. I thought it would have sold for a lot more actually, because it's so. But then again, sometimes you can see it's selling for thirty pounds. Um, but it pays just to sort of shop around. It's still available on eBay, of course. This next one is a bit. It was a bit muted, I thought, and I didn't really not that I didn't care for it, but I, I, I thought it might have been better. It's Deadbeat at Dawn, but it's another one that's. In the right light, it's got spot gloss on it. Just, but it's it's the detail of what's been carved into this, this um this fella's kind of back, and it's not really carved there, but it's it's got these kind of things from the film, which um will will translate. You'll know what it is when you see this film. You would know what it is. I would swap it round, but it hasn't got a reversible art on this one, believe it or not. And this is a director approved special edition, and it's it's one that I do like. It's for its simplistic look um and it does it does do the film the film is quite very low budget but i do like the fellow who did it 
Jim Van Beber, who is a real character, who actually stars in this film here, and that's that's him in, in this film. It's a bit like Bronx Warriors, I suppose. But uh, it's a bit muted, but it's uh, it's still a good picture, and especially it's it's some of the catches your eye um, on the shelves as well, but you don't obviously see them on the shelves, but when you show them to people, it's something they can look at for a little bit because there's a lot going on in that picture. So the last one I want to show today, and I'm going to go and do some more of these videos from time to time, I've got plenty of slip covers to go through and it, it, I just pull these off just to refresh my memory and see if the ones just jumped out of this so I want to show them off on forthcoming videos so um you know they will come up from time to time uh, when I get a chance just to get in the shelves I've only really gone into a couple of two shelves up here so I've got a lot more things to go through and there's some amazing slip covers in this whole thing but the one that I found on reflection and was the best one out of this bunch was um and this one you can get this one if you want and it's not that much actually it's um about 10 pounds and i thought this one would have been quite expensive because it's just so nice it's another soft touch one and it's got a lot of spot gloss on and it is 19 i believe it's 1987 1987's crimes of passion now this is actually if i can get it in the lights and do it do it justice it's just it's just like neon the film is very neon anyway and this whole um thing about the 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 neonness of the film is just comes out in the slip cover it's got the it's got the soft touch which is one of the earliest soft touch ones i have and if you get it in the right light it just it looks as if it's actually lit lighting up it's just got that depth to it which is just unreal and you can still get it cheap the film itself is a bit strange ken russell film which features anthony perkins as a strange sort of uh, like a priest who was a bit round the bend actually who's obsessed with this um, sort of prostitute but the film, is, the film itself is probably not everyone's cup of tea I do remember seeing this in the 80s and thought it was pretty good actually it was quite extreme for the time and you've got a lot of spot gloss on every on every bit there you've got a little bit on the back and you've also you know you've got it on the side there but it's this whole I wish I hope it does it justice on here it's the whole neon that when this shines in the light it's just absolutely so what i might do is i might say that this is the best one in this video then i'll go out and do videos from from now till whenever and when they're done i might do a sort of top 10 of my favorite slip covers and um because i was going to rank these ones here but i couldn't really do that with them but this is definitely the best one of this bunch and the next bunch that i pull out the next 10 or 15 or so i will Put the, the my favorite one of them and they're all going to the hat to see what will be my favorite slip cover in my whole collection now there's also other slip covers where you've got the arrow ones which is like the big hard box editions i'm not going to include them i may do a separate video for them to see which is my favorite hard box edition um cover so um but there's plenty more to come on this uh, this series if you like i might even put a few dvds in there because i've got a few dvds i've got some absolutely amazing covers which you forget all about you think that um you sort of if you get a blu-ray a version of the dvd and you, and you keep it for whatever reason you kind of forget you've even got it and you don't even look at it anymore but some of them ones down there i've come across and i didn't even didn't i forgot i even had them and there's some amazing um things to look at there so anyway thanks for watching this video and um, i hope it's interesting to you and also if you didn't know i did a coll collaboration yesterday with uh, jordan from movie worm the channel movie worm and we talked about our top five um or five of our favorite performances in movies uh, across any sort of decade or any genre and that video was great to do i really enjoyed it i loved every second of it jordan made me feel very uh, welcome in his channel and also he uh, had a lot of nerves going into it and he sort of had a little chat before and was sort of laid out what we're planning to do and it was just it was a great thing to do so i'll leave a link down to there i enjoyed it i hope you enjoy watching it i plan to do many more with other people and jordan as well so thanks for sticking around thanks for watching you take care and i'll see you in the next video